welcome you. I hope you're doing fine. I'm doing fine. We are playing some more Cyberpunk 2077. Let's see what day it is outside. Oh man, it looks beautiful. And this view is just amazing. I love it every time I'm looking out of this window. Now before we're gonna do some main storyline mission, I just wanna explain you real quick what I've been doing off camera. I have been doing a lot of mini police side job kind of things. Those are these yellow icons besides this one and this one down here because these ones are special. So these side missions, as it says down here, rescue the person located here or you have this one. Who knows what you might find. Sometimes you need to execute someone. Sometimes you need to talk sense into someone. It's always a different mission and combined with the loot stuff, this really reminds me of mini missions in Far Cry game. Uh, which is a lot of fun. I also found the office of the person that was continuously calling me down here. Now, I do not really get some dialogue down here, so this will be something for later on, but it's a ton of fun. Now, this down here is our main mission, Meet with Jackie, which we're going to do in a second. This mission down here is actually from the guy who we met at our apartment, who had that robot we had to fight to. So, at some point, I think it will be fun. Let me know down below in the comment section if we're going to do some fighting down here at the fight club. It's legal. We just need to do hand-to-hand -hand combat or maybe use melee weapons. And uh, there are a few couple of rounds to fight, and we're going to get some money from that. Now, these missions down here the assault in progress these kind of things are basically random things uh, if you beat them they will just return back you can just join them these are basically the gangs in the police fighting if you help the police defeat the gangs you know you will get rewarded uh, anything else these blue things are just spawn points and uh, all the other white icons are shops and stuff like that all right with that being said I have one more thing to show you guys and that is of course my character. I got a legendary pistol and this thing is really amazing. You can see all of the stats that are on this list. I haven't found a better weapon than this just yet. Maybe with some more DPS but all the bonus stats you won't really get. This one has like uh, much on it. It is really good. Uh, the shotgun, I'm using this one at this moment. I'm still looking for a legendary shotgun and of course I'm still using the same Defender light machine gun. I have found a legendary one into the store. Only this thing cost 65,000 bucks. I got 46,000 bucks. I'm not going to get far with that. I got this plastic samurai helmet which I think looks very cool. Uh, combined with this uh, gas mask which makes it look a little bit like dark fader somehow i really love this jacket i cannot really get rid of it i still have the same shirt i found yellow shoes before but these ones are a lot better i still want to aim for certain yellow shoes um, with certain stats and i found a dead police officer somewhere with a legendary pants it has a very some nice movement uh, speed mods onto it so with that being said I also got some new mods for my cyber deck so when I, you know, hack people. So this is like a virus and all the people that are joined up together near each other uh, can get infected by this virus. I got overheating virus. Now I got something to tell about this. I found a few bad guys who are called netrunners or something and these are basically like you so they can hack you. and. They continuously used this overheating at me and it was freaking annoying um, but I got something for that and now I can do that back at those guys too. These are very good for humans and of course this short circuit uh, is very good for robots and all kind of electric stuff. I do have to get rid of this ping. This ping is actually very handy um, but these things is something you really want. I did bought a new uh, RAM. Um, there are even better ramps with more slots onto it, so at the end I can add one of these back. That is that. And, oh man, so much e time, but a few coming, coming episodes I will, don't have anything to explain because I will record a few and then I have to go on exploring again. I have been upgrading some of these weapons, which is not too special to show. I've been upgrading these kind of things. Now I said before about these netrunners that can hack you. It is really annoying that you don't know which person is hacking you. So they got something um, very special for that. And I believe it is this one. Yeah, with quick hacking. Uh, this one. 
I spy. This will highlight the only enemy that is actually the one that is hacking you. Anything else will be shown orange and this guy will be shown yellow, which is freaking handy. And I really, really, really enjoyed this gameplay off camera. Uh, it's a really good game. At, at least I find it a good game. I didn't have any much bugs onto this. Uh, it's funny these cops were first at his door. Now they took one of these dudes out. And the funny thing is when I press tap, I cannot hack him. So there is something special going on. Maybe at some point we will get to know more about that. So with that being said, let's do some storyline mission. And I would like to fast travel. So we're just going to press F and now I have to guess, I, it was somewhere about here. I'm just going to spawn out there, I'm going to call my vehicle. Apparently at some point you can get messages which should give you or opportunity to buy some new vehicles. And then from the list you can select which one will be your main vehicle. I think that's also a very cool feature though. Oh man. I have been I've been gathering so much stuff and, and like I said before it really reminds me of uh, Far Cry um, with the components with legendary common normal stuff uh, I had so much fun playing this game all right let's call call our vehicle it should arrive sooner or later here there we go and I will just keep doing uh, like small side stuff uh, I just call it side stuff, maybe I should call it side side stuff, like double side, um, just real quick. <laughs> you have the side job, this is something that I have not really been doing, maybe one or two, um, but I've really been completing like stuff onto the map instead of doing this one. This one is something that I'm going to do as last, and by the way, I did pay Victor back for, you know, the implants, and uh, all Victor was saying like, Oh, you don't have to pay me. And then V was like, yes, I am going to pay you. And then he transferred the money. And V was like, okay, thank you um, for your patience. And Victor was, okay, thank you for your money. And that was basically it. And I do recognize this from a video gameplay. Shouldn't these dudes be... Oh, I cannot get out of it. Come on. Okay, let's walk. It's very annoying. I believe, like, it should be these guys down here. Maybe they will just load in when, um... Maybe you've seen some gameplay footage, the early, uh, the earlier ones. Um... You might recognize this. Oh, what do you... <laughs> okay. Please don't now. Come on. Okay, well, you know, this they have been warning, there are some bugs. Come on now. I have no idea, man. Ah, finally. Silly car. What was that all about? Yeah, 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 toot, 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 but uh, don't drive in the air and through containers, please. That means very handy that it somehow cannot get stuck, even though when it stops, it will be stuck. Okay, I have not really been into this area just yet. Ah, okay, here we be. Ah, there you are. Yeah, there we be. How are you, how are you doing, man? Let me hear what you squared away. Uh, we gotta meet him. Been waiting long. What's the word on t -Buck? Are you riding on an arch? Uh, by the way, this motorcycle uh, idea has been designed by Kanu himself and the company. This exists in real life, I mean. t -Buck show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Been waiting long. My madre always said patience pays off, so... Okay, well let's uh, do this Dex then. Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You skin yet? You got a plan? Um, let's see. 
Where's my stuff? There you go. We buy it. I got the eddies. Did you just say Dex already forked over? So we pay again. Keep trouble to a minimum. Yeah, so I think that's the best idea. Into the Lord Beast Den. Okay, let's, let's do go it. see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Like the Maelstrom, and the, those are freaky guys, man. I hate these Borg fuckers. Oh, we're over here already. It had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I think the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Now, these guys are really, really freaky. Go on. Let them know we're here. Um, I guess down here, right? <clears throat> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Okay, that was not too uh, too bad, right? So yeah, I kind of seen this stuff already with the early footage. There's a lot of stuff I haven't seen, by the way. A few plants, though. So oh, yeah, they look damn well prepared. Um, I think I've ever seen security like this in a Chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy, gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. So the whole point with this game is there are different approaches. You can get, you know, different. Oh god, I don't know if that's good. Different hey, endings, different um a Militech truck. But those cabrones only swiped a couple crates. Not a whole fucking semi. It's very dark though. There is still not something like a light or something. I have to take some stuff here and there. Get it all done because I will never come back. So I have learned from that. Mine. Okay, that was very dumb. I pressed forward, but it it did double dash. That was <laughs> that was dumb. I didn't expect that. Oh, I have to loot it all again. Uh, cozy place. Don't do dumb stuff. Could use a few plants though. Oh yeah, they look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a Chow factory. Yeah, gear from the Jack Convoy, gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Okay, enough, enough, enough. Hey, what was in there? A Militech truck. Cabrones only swiped a couple crates. Not a whole fucking semi. All right, yeah, you see these are mines and uh, I had one of these uh, police missions that was like a dude Maybe they turned on that was the whole problem I get some they go on behind your back. I don't know what happened there uh, It was like a mission. I had to talk some sense in a dude and um, Yeah, he had the whole place Trapped and then he aimed the gun on me and it was like stop and I shouldn't have moved, you know, stuff like that. Get in the elevator. God, that'll do it's everywhere. It's gonna be a lot of fun if it goes wrong. Yeah. I'm trying to stay calm here. No guns. Yeah, yeah, I noticed before. So what do you want? Ah, these guys are. You got a bot, model MT zero D one two, called the Flathead. And the hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch, planet. <laughs> But these guys are so freaky, man. It is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Ah, bend my ass. Couch, Jackie. Uh, well, shit. 
goes for you too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for Jack, the planet. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Can you use your pissed off well, and chill down? All right. Come on, got lighten up. Take what is hit. that? Is that weed? Ah, oh, man. Better. Better. What is that from? Snickers, right? Get it, grab now a Snicker. <laughs> Here we go. A flat head. Model MT0-D12. Mm-hmm. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift it access locks using our soft. What's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Uh uh. Mm hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Uh, sure. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Um. You fucking t fuck brick then. Let's cut a new deal. So uh -huh. filthy, man. Now that's good business sense. All right, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. <laughs> Big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshawn. That's who. Dexter Deshawn. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> he ain't dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? <laughs> he kind of a little bit sticking through. Here you go. Paid in full. Let's keep it nice, huh? No kisses. Uh -huh. <sighs> hey, Flathead's good gear. It'll do the trick for you, whatever the trick is. Now take the damn bot and get the fuck out of my factory. And you can tell Dex to suck my shiny chrome cock. Okay, I will. Got what we came for. Nova, so now leave. And hey, after you get Dex's dick out of your mouth, tell him I say hello. <laughs> Piece of shit. Okay. All right. Better show you guys out. What the hell for? We know the way. Easy, compadre. You'll be outside in no time. Get in. So. Where? What? Show you the shortcut. I know what this. The fuck? Aren't there any? What do you? Scratch, you make off of them. Royce, know you're loyal. 
Okay, this is a little confusing, but I like the way how I get surprised here by a different way of doing so. Oh yeah, this stuff. I keep finding like mods. You see how the waypoint is like focused on something else? I'm looking for color red icons like the green one. Shut up. Give me that weapon. Avoid coming back. It's good advice. Repeat business, not repeat it. That guy rubbed my dick the wrong way. <laughs> dum dum. I mean, what the fuck kind of nick is that anyway? Okay. Wow. Yeah, the waypoint was really like set on a different way. If you got like a, uh, a different dialogue, different ending to get out the building, I'll guess. So yeah, we did it without fighting. And that's what I seen in the video that there was like fighting going on. Uh, this really shows that this game has a different way of doing so. Because this also means that we don't have negative stuff with these guys. And what also surprised me, we did not have a talk with the lady in the canyon down there. Which was also shown in the video. So no begging, yeah. No debt. No corpo strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Uh, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Got lucky today. Well, ain't you a ray of sunshine? But V, it ain't a matter of luck. You decide. Remember that. You decide. See, they just put it in once again. I wonder if you still can go back into the ah, building. I love this town. The city of endless opportunity and brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones, and you know how to use them? <laughs> you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bullet. Stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street will talk. The street will remember. So we win. What now, Jack? What now? And now I go back. Find Misty. Do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Catch a fright back there, that you wouldn't make it back. <laughs> Shit like that don't cross my mind. But I am grateful for coming through. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí lo veo. This game is so oh, enjoyable. <laughs> Well, so far, so good. Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on it. How'd you get him on board? You used the Corpo woman? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Oh. Didn't want to risk it. Paid out of my own pocket. That bot ain't no bargain basement tech. That it is not. You got some balls, Mr. B. We're all set, ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do, grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V. So that was the whole point. I somehow had to talk with um, Militech and I didn't. So I paint this paid this crap out of my own pocket which uh yep that hurts a bit uh, but you know what it is it is fine as it is now let's take a quick look at certain things so we got the heist here there's only one door you gotta open in night city and that's the door to the afterlife once you cross into that world people step aside for you everywhere Jack shouldn't have chosen a better place to pre-game before the heist am i right the afterlife is a sign for us ease all right, so that kind of stuff. Uh, beat the rat. Oh, this is the, the Fight Club mission. Don't overthink this one. You have to be the champion of Kabuki. You know the stakes. You are on the place. Mm -hmm. 
and this one wait for the lockdown to end like this is one of the reasons why i didn't do these side jobs and yeah these ones are dangerous if you have a psycho killer mm, one man army uh, so there are yeah in this this is actually from the mini missions though uh, there are 17 psychos to find and you need to kill them these these guys are sometimes super duper difficult um because they're crazy man uh, defeat all opponents to get the final round i think that one is with this one like this is the first round and there are four rounds i think that is what it is uh, anyhow so let me know if we if i've done the uh, the right decision here or did you wanted to see a fight going on or did i have to talk with militech uh, let me know down below in the comment section and then i'll see you in the next episode thanks for watching let me just just one second okay i i just have to check things out at, at, at certain points oh man it is so wrong it's so sexy look at that oh yes Okay, the tattoo's coming out real good.